channel my name is Evie Vargas and if you're not already a subscriber hit that subscribe button and like this video and don't forget to connect with me on Instagram you can direct message me there with any questions you may have so in today's video I want to talk a little about the highly requested memento or keepsake that families ask for at the funeral home I can't count how many times a family has come into the funeral home and asked for a lock of their loved one's hair. When I started working at the funeral home, the hair would be placed in Ziploc bags. And I found this to be a terrible way to display something so symbolic and sentimental. I knew there was a better way, and this is what I did. So I decided to go to Dollar Tree. I was looking for glass vials to display the hair in a timeless manner and to protect it from the elements. In Dollar Tree's crafting section, I did find a variety of vials in different sizes. These are the ones that I did purchase. They come six in a pack and they were only a dollar. Then I went to Joanne Fabrics to find a small wooden box that would hold the glass vial. If you did not know, Joanne Fabrics has a 50% off coupon on one regular priced item on most days. So check out their website or app. As you can see, they have a variety of boxes to choose from. The one I buy is only $1.49, and with the 50% off coupon, I paid $0.75. Cents. It does not take much to go the extra mile for a family. For those of you that are curious, here is a demo of how I remove the lock of hair and place it in a vial. This is my mannequin head that I use for practicing hairstyles and braiding. Today I will use her to show you how I remove a lock of hair from a decedent. I start off with a small black rubber band to secure the hair. You can also use thread, anything that will keep the hair together. I make sure to remove the hair from the back of the head just so that it isn't obvious that the hair was cut. I use the rubber band tightly around the hair just to make sure that it's not going to come apart. should look like that. Once I feel that it is tight enough, I adjust it and I cut it. Then 
The easiest way to put the hair into the vial is to just bend it in a U shape and you see how easy it goes in. It's displayed evenly. There is no hassle at all. So this is the final result. I put white tissue paper on the bottom of the box so it doesn't look too plain or empty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.